Welcome to the CVA, the Cake Baking Academy. I'm gonna teach you how to make a cake using just this jar of peanut butter. Step one is you got it. Breaking news, conflicts in Korea have risen due to Kim Jong-un preparing a nuclear strike on South Korea. Now to Jake for a time travel explanation. Thank you, Lucas, for that wonderful introduction. Now, to get a better look on this conflict, we're going to go back to 1950 when the Korean War started. Oh. Here we are in 1950 when the Korean War began because North Korea wanted communism and South Korea didn't. What's up, North Korea? What's How up, you South doing? Korea? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing really good. You know what? You I, think, I, th I think we should have communism. Uh, I don't think so. I, th I think we should. Ah. Here we are in 1953 when North Korea and South Korea signed an armistice ending the Korean War. Here in 1974, North Korea tried to assassinate South Korea's president, but they failed. <laughs> Darn it, fail! <laughs> Here in 1994, North Korea stopped their nuclear weapons program. It's perfect. The nuclear weapon. No, 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 no. Here in 2001, North Korea starts testing missiles again. Go. Here in 2002, President Bush declares North Korea a threat. North Korea is a threat! Better get back to the studio to see why it's still a current conflict. Also, Mama's making quesadillas! <laughs> That time travel experience. Yeah. The, the main the main reason why there is conflict between North and South Korea is that North Korea wants to spread communism, communism throughout South Korea and elsewhere. Now let's take a look to historical and economical pr perspectives of each side. Here we're interviewing a North Korean citizen, Jeffrey C. Jeffrey, how has the North Korean economy changed? Well, it's changing because new generations of people are becoming more exposed to different economies, such as ones overseas, like the United States. So it's changing. Yeah. You heard it from Jeffrey. Now we're going to interview a Japanese citizen, Kim Young Chol, who is a supporter of North Korean economical strategies. We don't like America because they are bigger, bigger than us and forcing us to do what works for them. But in reality, reality, it doesn't work everywhere. You're going to hold it now. Russia donated 90 million dollars to North Korea to help them fund the nuclear weapons program. This helped their economy and also started a nuclear weapons program again. In South Korea, the U.S. donated troops to help North Korea, South Korea defend communism from North Korea. This meant that communism could not spread from North Korea to South Korea and into the United States. Jake and Lucas had to take a break. Now, we will conclude our broadcast on the Korean War. Dating back to 1950, the Korean War all began because of a little something called communism, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> it, it was just communism. Oh, okay. But now, North Korea is trying to spread communism to South Korea and even the United States. North Korea's economy is not doing as well, and to prove that, Russia had to donate 90 million dollars to fund their nuclear war program. Well, in South Korea, their economy has been doing much better because of their imports and exports. Not to your local weather station. As you can see, there's something blue over here and something white over here. If, we, if this whole thing moves towards South Korea and North Korea, it's going to get really hot. I don't know what that means, but thank you, Zach. Thank you for watching our broadcast on the wait, Korean War. Wait. What? What? Okay, What's going we, on? we just got this in. We have live footage of North Korea's nuclear weapon program. We have to take a look at this. Oh. Three, two, one. Fire! <laughs> oh, no. oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Go. Three, two, one. Fire! Ow. Big no. <laughs> <laughs> Go. We are now testing the heat seeking missiles. Should I fire? You should fire now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Go. We are now testing our heat seeking missiles. Fire! <coughs> we are now testing our invisible missiles. In three, two, one, fire! <laughs> Thank you for watching. Now back to our regular scheduled broadcast. Now the final step is you open the oven and check out your cake. Okay, that's not an oven, that's not a cake. <laughs> See you next time.